Hello, my name is Trent Duberke, and this is my Final Drive project here. Um, so I am working with the original mechanic that I had designed, the elemental tiles, and then I am implementing Gerald Goodrich's um, mechanic of the wall blast, wall blast mechanic. Um, so I had a really fun time putting this together. It was a bit of a challenge uh, taking someone else's work. Um, and adding it to my own, but I really felt like I learned a lot, even though it was very stressful at times. Um, so anyway, so let me show you um, how um, everything works in my levels, and then I'll go ahead and break everything down for you. Um, so first off, we start off, we're just going to, this first level is just going to show off my elemental mechanics here. Um, so basically, we have three different elements. We have our earth tile right here, we have our fire tile, and then we have the water here. So if we go into the earth tile, um, yeah, that's going to kill us. You know, it's poison, not good. We go into the fire tile, that's going to kill us. So we need to start with the water water tile, which gives us a water shield. Um, nope, doesn't work with the earth tile, so okay, it must work with the fire. So we go in here, so that's going to, oops, that's going to give us A fire shield protection. Um, so then the fire shield is going to cancel out the poison and then we can get to our wind tile. Yay! All right and then this is opening up the second level here. So this is basically you know like tutorial levels so very very simple just learn how to use the mechanics. So this one here we're gonna pick up the bomb. So we got that. We go to this breakable wall. All right broke through the wall great. And that allows us to get to our wind tile. And then we get to our next level here. Now, um, like I said, I was having a little bit of challenge uh, putting this together. Um, and I was able to fully implement the mechanics here. But as you will see here, I have come across a slight bug that we'll need a little bit more time to figure out. So as you saw in my first level, having the water shield, I was able to go through the fire here and not die because I had the fire protection. So that is one thing that I do need to figure out. I am not able to complete this third level, um, but given more time, um, I think I could you know, easily figure it out. Um, but you can see I do have my mechanics um, implemented for the most part. Um, so let me show you how I... Um, was able to create all these. So let's go ahead and start with my elemental tiles first. So we'll start with the fire tile. Um, with the fire tile, uh, basically I went in here and I used a tile floor, made a child blueprint of the tile floor, and then I put in um, just a Niagara special effect here of the fire. And then what I did is I made sure that, um, let me go to the event graph. So when we enter this fire tile, uh, basically it's going to um, check to make sure that the player has fire protection. And if you look in here, when you enter the water tile, um, it's going to set fire protection to true. Um, and then once fire protection is set, the water shield visibility is toggled. Um, and then if we look here on my player, so I have both, you saw in the game, I have both a water shield and a fire shield. So basically in the viewport, um, I just basically set the water shield and the fire shield. I just set the visibility, the default to, um, to false. And then you can see in here, we are going to actually toggle the visibility. And so it's going to make it true. And then that water shield is going to pop up. And so, oops, sorry. Um, so yeah, so then once uh, they check to make sure that the fire protection is set to true, then we are going to set it to earth protection because the fire is going to give us protection from the earth tile. Uh, if not, it's going to reset the level, kill the character. Um, and then we're also, when you enter that fire fire tile, 
it's going to toggle the water shield visibility to off. Um, and then the fire shield visibility is going to be toggled on. And then that's where I add the 2D sound for a little uh, sound effect for the fire. Um, and then you get to the earth tile. Yeah, I mean, these are real similar. So when they enter, basically I'm just going to check to make sure that the um, player ha is fire or is earth protected. Oh, and I forgot to show you. So I created the three variables in the tile fire is water, fire, and earth protected. Um, then basically, you know, if it's false, resets the level. Uh, if it's true, fire shield visibility is going to be toggled off. Um, and that's not supposed to be there. But, but yeah. Um, so and then when it came to the um, the wall blast um, mechanic, the way that I did this is I made a wall blast ability as a child of the interactable box. And so basically when it was interacting with the wall blast ability, that little bomb that I had there, um, play a 2D sound of picking it up. And then I set um, if uh, the, the Boolean can wall blast, I set that to true. And then after that, you destroy the actor. So the, the, the bomb component is going to be destroyed. And then you're going to set so that the, the pawn can enter the tile. Um, and then here, um, when they interact, well, I'll make sure to do this right. Yeah, and then um, here, um, the player, um, I make sure that the breakable is set for the player, that the player can, uh, can break the wall. And then um, when they interact with the breakable wall, I play the fire in the hole sound effect and the explosion sound effect. Mm -hmm. And then I play my little explosion um, emitter at that location. And then I set the visibility of the cube of that breakable, breakable wall. I destroy that. And then the component with the emitter is destroyed after two seconds. Mm -hmm. And then I set so that the pawn can enter the tile. Set that to true. Um, so yeah, so that is basically how I was able to create everything there. Just making sure that I went over everything. And oh yeah, um, this one totally forgot this. Uh, so when I use the wall blast action, um, I check to make sure that the Ken wall blast boolean is set to true. If it is true, then it checks to make sure that. The neighboring tile is breakable. Uh, so it's not breakable. I mean, you're destroying nothing. And then if that is true, then it uses 25% um, of the stamina, which I wasn't able to fully finish the stamina. But for my portfolio, um, I am going to be implementing that um, furthermore. But anyway, so that is my uh, two mechanics that I implemented. Um, had a really fun time doing it and really enjoyed this class. I learned a lot. Thank you.